Science constantly tests fascinating ideas and uncovers remarkable discoveries. It can take a lifetime to consider them all. But if you're speaking to an audience of non-chemists, you can't expect your listeners to spend the same lifetime as you figuring out what you're talking about. To use your time wisely, draw on common events from everyday life to describe your science. Yes, the telling through broadly accessible concepts will distort the exact understanding, but with practice, you can still convey the fascination and curiosity that fuels science. Analogy, metaphor, and anecdote are communication tools you can use to adapt your understanding into terms and ideas that make more sense to your audience. Analogy is simply the comparison between one thing and another for the purpose of explanation or clarification. Put into practice, this means you substitute context A for context B, tell the story of how B works, and thus provide an immediate framework to better explain A. It isn't exact, but chosen wisely, analogy can open the door for an audience to consider a new concept. For example, perhaps you're giving a talk about a new catalyst you've discovered, but an audience of non-chemists doesn't know what a catalyst does. An analogy could cast a reactant as a company that needs to deliver a big contract to a funder to develop a product that will make for more stable business. With enough time and energy, the company could get the contract out the door, but the efficiency might be so low, the product isn't developed at an effective rate. So the company hires an agent that improves its contract writing and acquires the funding faster to make viable products and secure the business. Even a non-scientist audience could then understand that a catalyst aids a process, a reaction, Without even mentioning atoms or molecules or mechanisms or activation energies, you could then speak to the cleverness needed to develop the right catalyst for the right job under the right conditions. Certainly much of synthetic chemistry can then be appreciated and the work chemists do as well. Where analogy is a comparison story, a metaphor is analogy in just a few words for one concept, one character. Metaphor is thus the opposite of jargon. It uses familiar words as replacements for expert or dialect-dependent words. A catalyst as a business agent is a metaphor. Reactants as a company is another metaphor. Stringing those two metaphors together made the analogy we just told, but the whole story may not even be necessary. If your audience is comfortable with the idea of a business agent, you could then just say a catalyst is an agent of business that transforms reactants into products at a greater rate. Chances are, when you speak with scientists who are not chemists, you use metaphors where you'd use jargon with direct colleagues. Now, if metaphor is best used for speaking with experts of a different specialty, then anecdotes are best for speaking with non-experts. Anecdotes in everyday speech are short tellings of an interesting story. Like the time you got a good deal at the farmer's market, or that other time your dad tried to paint the car. They're most often personal tellings, told with interest and using dramatic effect to keep the audience engaged. Just as your audience perhaps wasn't with you at the farmer's market, a non-expert audience hasn't worked with you in your science. So think of your research as an experience that needs telling to someone who could find it amusing even though they weren't there, and may never be. Be brief, be captivating, and use happenings that would be familiar for your audience. For example, so here I am trying to get my flasks to convert into a useful product, and I just don't have enough heat to get it going. So I took a break to call my cousin for her birthday. She was telling me about her welding business, how she found out about a gig in town converting old diesel buses into electrical ones. But she had no experience writing municipal proposals. Well, it turned out her kid's soccer coach is on city council, and boom, contract. At the end of that call, she had to run off to get a financial planner for all her profits. Then it hit me. For my reaction, I need a sort of counselor to sort out the business in my flasks. I need what we chemists call a catalyst. Relatable, engaging, and accessible. Use analogy, metaphor, and or anecdote to convey your research to non-expert audiences, whether they're kids wondering about science, decision makers looking to fund someone, or peers looking to collaborate. 
Good communication tools, well used, will have your talk be the start of a conversation, and that could lead to your greatest work.